So I just pulled this cover off here. Belt's all broken. So we're gonna fit a new belt. We've got to time the blades as well so they don't whack into each other. So we'll do that and then she's all fixed. The motor's running sweet. So new belt replacement on this deck. So first of all, you wanna check all your bearings and your idle gears. This one here has got, got a wee bit of play so we need to put some new bearings in there. Them ones seem all right. They're your shaft ones. If we flip this up, if you see here, these both of these blades are going to smack together. So we're going to put one this way, and then we're going to put one that way. So we're going to get as close as we can when we when we line it up. You could... Another thing you have to watch out for is um these these pins here. So designed when this this hits something hard it shears them aluminium pins so we'll whip the blades off and make sure they're not cracked and broken make sure there's no play in there as well no play in there so we'll, we'll get the rattle gun and whip them off and check them and then we'll probably give the blades a bit of a sharpen just give them a get the anvil grinder out and just touch them up well we're there right so we'll do that we'll get some bearings and then i'll i'll get back to you just wipe your sear clips off. There's a bearing in there, so it's a 6202. Just discovered it is in the bearing, it's the housing's worn. So we're just going to put a couple of dom punches there, 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 and we're going to lock tight it, and that sort of holds it in place till the lock tight goes off. Fitting your sear clip, you've got a flat side and a rounded side, so the flat side goes up, so it's got a sharper edge, so it can't come off. Should really put, replace them too when you're doing the belt. Some of these, there's some bolts. You have to loosen off under there. So you loosen them off. See that that one's the adjuster one. Another on the other. This one here is not the adjuster one. You just got to loosen it to, to fit your new belt. So to get this belt on, I've just left, lifted this pulley up a little bit. Just slip the belt on, and then we'll push push it back down again. It's an easy way. Or if we can't, if you can't move that, you can undo them and put it on a couple of ways. Right. So we've worked out. This here goes that way, so the blade is running this way. This one here, we we'll put this that way, and the blade's running that way, so not opposite each other. So I line the blades up by the top bit, and then I just put a bit of tension on the belt, and just have a look to see where it lands. I might have to move it a tooth, one way or the other way, and get it the best you can. You might not get it 100%, but where the best is. Right, we've got our belt on, and now, now we need to tension the belt, the right tension. So when we're tightening this belt, we're going to rotate it, and wobble it, rotate, and sort of wobble it. That takes some of the wobble it, and then we'll then give it a wee bit more, and then keep on doing that to get the right tension. So you want it reasonably tight. See? You don't want it super tight, but you don't want it super loose. Like an alternator belt, it's slightly tighter than an alternator belt. And it's been a brand new belt, there will be a slight wear in, start, um, wear, it will wear in a little bit too. But some people will recheck it after so many hours, and then some don't. So it's entirely up to you what you do. All right, now look, make sure you lock the bottom of the nut under there. Do the same, lock it all off tighten these up so after you nip all your bolts up just um sometimes when you tighten everything up it can tighten your belt back up on some things so just double check your tension make sure it's okay so we're, we're right there so top back on back in the mire so all done Fitting them pins, you might just have to loosen the, the front nut off there. All back together, ready for a test ride. <laughs> 